What's happening? Are Caribbean people stupid? Absolutely not. Are they a fearful and timid people? Absolutely, yes. The question was asked of me yesterday. Why aren't Caribbean people standing up what to their government? To take them to the courts to get their redress like they do in larger European nations, in the US and Canada, elsewhere. But they had they a fighting friend. spirit, but that's completely gone. The leaders have totally dumbed down that spirit. So it'll take a while to get back and people are real vision and people who are not afraid of certain systems to regain that. All right. But the reason why the person asked me if they're stupid is because they've been noticing a lot of cases in the US and in other countries where people have been suing over the vaccine mandate. I lost a lot of friends over it. But when you look at what's happening overseas, for instance, the DOD settles COVID vaccine mandate lawsuits for $1.8 million. This is the Department of Defense in the US. And this is the first one I'm going to tell you about from 2023. Two lawsuits filed by service members challenging the Defense Department's no defunct vaccine mandate have ended in a settlement according to an agreement filed in the Florida Federal Court. The judge awarded Liberty Council, the firm representing the plaintiffs in the case, and they won $1.8 million to cover legal fees incurred during the cases, which were filed following Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's fall 2021 announcement that the COVID vaccine would become mandatory for all troops. The military COVID vaccine mandate is dead. Matt Staver, Liberty Council Chairman, said in a statement, and our heroic service members can no longer be forced to take the experimental job. Of course, it was an experimental job. Several lawsuits popped up in the wake of the new mandate, many arguing that troops were unfairly denied religious exemptions to the vaccine and therefore faced involuntary separation from service. So they won the case. And that is why people are asking me, what is wrong with our Caribbean people? Why aren't they putting up why aren't they just putting up a fight against these governments? Look here again. It says hundreds of police officers launched class action against Queensland government and QPS over COVID-19 vaccine mandates. And hundreds, hundreds of former and current police officers and staff members have launched a class action lawsuit against the state government and the Queensland Police Service over its COVID-19 vaccine mandates. A lawsuit filed by the Supreme Court in Brisbane is being funded by billionaire Clive Palmer. It comes after the Queensland Supreme Court ruled that COVID-19 mandates breach human rights laws of some frontline workers. In a written decision in February, Justice Glenn Martin ruled the directive breached Section 58 of the Human Rights Act, which stated that all public service employees must give proper consideration to human rights before making a decision, and they must act and make decisions that are compatible with human rights. Do you understand what's happening all around the world? People are going after these vaccine mandates and they're winning these cases. Caribbean people who lost lives, who lost jobs, apparently don't want to. They have this timid spirit and fear in the government. Governments are supposed to fear people. People are not supposed to be fearing governments. In St. Vincent, uh, there were a number of public servants who were fired. They took the government to court. They lost the case, the government. The government took them to the, the appeal court in the Caribbean. And they're saying, look, if we lose that case, we're going to take you to the Privy Council with taxpayers' money. What a shame. Navy settles lawsuit with sailors who denied COVID-19 vaccine. Look again. The Navy and the Department of Defense have settled a lawsuit over the former COVID-19 vaccine mandate with 36 members of the Special Warfare Community, U.S. Navy. They settled the lawsuit. I mean, Caribbean people need to wake up. They just need to wake up and stop this thing about, oh, I'm afraid of government. I'll get victimized. I'll get... No, no, no. We have to get out of that spirit. Here's another one. Bad workers fired due to COVID vaccine mandate to get over 1 million each federal jury decide. This is in California this week. Bart workers fired due to COVID vaccine mandate to get over 1 million each. A federal jury has sided with the fired Bart workers who sued the agency claiming they lost their jobs over COVID vaccine mandate. There are six of them total in the lawsuit. Each will receive more than 1 million. The employees claim religious exemptions to the vaccine mandate but said they were not accommodated by the transit agency and subsequently lost their jobs. Do you know that many governments in the Caribbean who gave who told public servants they had to take the vaccine or be fired, did not allow their cabinet members to take the vaccine and exempt their cabinet member. Do you know that? <laughs> Go and ask your government. That's how wicked they are. And I hope that all these people who lost their jobs, who lost their houses, who lost their lives, I hope that one day these politicians, wherever they are, I hope that they will pay dearly for that. And that's all I'm going to say. Caribbean people are not stupid. They're timid and they need to wake up. You guys.
comment in the section below and take it easy.